How to be a best man? The big day. This is Wilf, and this is Alan. Wilf's getting married, and Alan's going to be his best man. We get stand-up comedian Dominic Holland, and author of Best Man for Dummies, Dominic Bliss, to give them their top tips on how to be a best man. Being a best man is about being the best man to your mate, to be an upright standing mate for him, to be there, to support him, to organise things for him, um, to be there on a the day, to uh, look after his relatives, to provide the rings, to give a speech, to organise the stag do. But of course the, the main reason why you agree to be a best man is there's a very good chance on the day that you yourself can get laid. Your, really, your role is to back up the groom in any way possible. Uh, there are going to be some tough times between the groom, groom and, the, and, the, and the bride uh, in the run-up to the wedding. They're bound to have lots of arguments. Your job is to kind of keep things calm and give the groom as much moral support as possible. So you, your groom is going to be very, very stressed the night before and my way of, of de-stressing my groom is to offer him a good old rub good rub down, tell him that you're going to be his best man that night, get naked with him and give him an, offer him a really good rub and you'll find most grooms won't be up for that and they'll realise that that's going to be possibly worse than tomorrow so that will they'll relax. There are going to be two scenarios, he's either, the groom is either going to be with you and his ushers at, the, at his parents place at a big family dinner or it's going to be you and, you and the groom and the ushers elsewhere, maybe near the groom's house. Either scenario, you've got to, you've got to be involved, um, but a good little tip, if you're round at the groom's family's house and he's getting a lot of jit from his family, get him out there afterwards and make sure that he's as, as de-stressed as possible. Make sure he gets up early on time, have lots of alarm clocks. You may have to get him dressed, this guy's going to be nervous. He, you may literally have to be tying his tie for him. Shirt, tie, you're going. You know, there's no makeup, there's no hair. If the guy has a hairdresser coming, you need to reassess whether he should be his friend. I mean, there will be grooms that try to run away. You need to ask the question, why is he doing this? There must be some valid reason for him to want to run away. So, you know, again, be supportive. You know, better to, better to run away than get it wrong. Really good tip here on the on the run up to the wedding you've got to make sure you've got everyone's numbers punched into your mobile phone make sure your phone is charged up make sure you've got money in your wallet for any situation make sure you've got a wedding schedule to hand to the ushers keep on top of everything and it will all go smoothly try and you know, punctuate the day for him you know maybe have a maybe do something you wouldn't ordinarily do have a, a short at 11 o'clock because you wouldn't ordinarily do that do you remember that day years later we had that Bourbon meat in the morning, you know, not because you want to, because it's just bravado to have a beer or a drink, but just because it's a bit different. Do things slightly different out of kilter so it helps him remember the day. Then you've got to get him to the church on time. Don't let him drive, he's going to be a, a, a nervous wreck. Don't rely on public transport. Get to, the, get to the wedding venue at least two hours before, because there's going to be a few things you've got to have to do before the ceremony starts. Meet up with all the ushers. They, they're, your, they're your right hand men. They're your best men, let's say. At the venue, the most important person, aside from the bride and the groom, is the officiator. You know, the, the clergy, the vicar, the priest, or the registrar. So make contact, say hello, be cordial, be polite. Ask them if there's anything you can do for them. Once you've been given the ring, don't put it on your finger because your finger may swell up later in the day, you might not get it off, that could be very embarrassing in the church. Um, hold, hold, you've got several options, hold the ring in your hand or if you know you've got a safe pocket, keep it in there. If you zip it up, even better. Um, but of course you may be wearing a higher suit, you don't know, there might be a hole in the pocket. So whatever you do, make sure it's secure. I can't conceive of a best man losing the ring, okay? You've been selected by the groom to be the best man. If you've lost the ring, you shouldn't have been asked in the first place. So really, it's the groom's fault. One piece of advice I'd say is have a spare ring. If you do lose the ring, at least you've got a backup. Whatever you do, don't try and wing it on the day when it comes to the relatives. You've got to get to know who, at least who these people are. So that not only can you help out with the photographer, so when he asks for 
the aunties and the uncles to come along, you know who you're dealing with. But you've got to, you're the main fulcrum between the, the, the groom and the rest of the wedding. You've got to know who these people are, so memorise their names. Um, things can go wrong at weddings. As I said earlier, you've got dysfunctional people together, perhaps for the first time in years. Families, you know, there's issues in all families. Calm it down, be aware, don't allow it to kick off. People can get really drunk too quickly, you know, and say the wrong thing. Because the wedding could be at 12, then it could be at three. If I see someone getting too tanked early doors, maybe just ask them to calm down. Suggest he calms down, because it's a long day. You know, tell him you've got my speech to look forward to. It's gonna be a belter. To define the best man's job, he is a facilitator. That's his job, and it's to, to deal with all eventualities as they occur. It could be a fight, it could be someone crying, it could be someone fainting. But the best man has to really try, if he can, to have as, as broad a vision as he can for the day, for eventualities. So as they occur, he can step up and not ruin what should be the most important day in both their lives.